It's really common for homeowners and landowners to find items on their properties or within the homes that they simply don't know what it is. It's also common for those items to end up at our extension offices. Sometimes those things are quite hard to identify and having a good sample certainly helps. When trying to identify a plant, if we have part of the root, some of the growing part of the plant, a flower and even a seed or a fruit if it's that time of year, certainly will help in identification. When trying to identify an insect, bottles are really good to collect in. Um, if we get a, 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 whole, a whole insect with all the body parts not smashed, it's a lot easier to identify. We have sent samples back to the university that have come back identified as two lint balls and a wing. That was tough news to deliver to the homeowner. There are certain diseases, plant diseases, that are time sensitive, so time is an issue. You need to try to get these in as quick as possible. If you can't get to the extension office right away, get them in a sealed bag, put them in the fridge. Pictures also work quite nice. If you can take a picture, email it to the extension office. Quite often we can help with just a picture. I've decided that this sample that came in today is a baby Loch Ness monster and we'll be notifying the landowners of that. This is Hudson Hale, University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.